Hello, Brian the Fanboy here, and um, today I am going to review Shodenji Bioman. This is the uh, eighth Super Sentai series, and it uh, first aired in Japan back in 1984, and it consists of see, uh, yes, uh, 51 episodes, I think it was 51, and a movie. Now, um, the series starts by, well, showing this city called Technotopia 21. It's a uh, city that's, um, well, being advanced in science. Now, also, uh, in the series, we meet five people, three men and two women. Now, uh, the men, they are... Goshiro, Takusiku Shingo, and Nambara Ryuta. As for the women, they are Kobizumi Mika and Katsuraki Hikaru. Uh, and uh, somewhere in the South Pole, or in Nadaka, well, um, there is this evil organization called the Shin Tikoku, Shin Tikoku Gia, which means New Empire Gear, but I'm going to say Gia for short. Yes, now, um, the leader of um, Gia is a, a man who, well, goes by the name Dr. Man. Yes, and um, yes, he's in charge of the whole thing. No, um, see. oh yes, he has uh, three major warriors. So you like a, a man named Mason, a woman named Farah, and a uh, big man called a monster. They're, well, um, but when I first saw them, they kind of reminded me of the, um, the three major criminals from Krypton as shown in both Superman 1 and Superman 2 with uh, Mason being Sod, Farah being Ursa, and Monster being Nun. Of course, Monster talks unlike Nun who doesn't talk. Let's see, um, oh yes, um, also the monsters in the series are called Junoidos. And, uh, well, their names are, oh yes, um, Mitsuruka, Mesusia, um, I'm not sure if I said those two names right. Aguicha, uh, let's see, um, oh, Juo and Cyborg. There's also this um, other woman called um, Sarakato. Like, um, she does all the dirty work uh, for Farah. And also, um, I think for the Junoidos, yes, um, well, um, unlike the previous uh, Super Dose series that came before since, uh, yeah, well, they don't uh, grow gigantic. And also, um, well, um, the five are used throughout the entire series. Of course, they, they mostly take turns in each episode. But there are times, you know, more than one um, appear in an episode. But anyway, um, I mean, fight in an episode. Let's see. Oh, and the food soldiers of Kia are called Mega Clones, which means Mega Clones. They are, uh, well, uh, these robots with these black suits and silver masks that hides, hides the robotic faces. And there's also this um, other set of robots called Mechaningen, which means mechanical human. They are used to, um, oh yes, um, I guess to spy on Earth and stuff. No, uh, oh yes, eventually, um, the forces of Gia, they started attacking Earth. And then um, the five people 
uh, who are from, uh, from earlier in the episode, they all managed to meet up and, well, they meet this uh, golden robot named Bebo. And, um, well, he uh, told uh, the five people that they will become a, um, a fighting force called Bioman. And where people came, a giant robot called the Bio Robo. And um, the Bio Robo ended up with um, some kind of um, beam, and eventually, each of the five people, they, um, oh yes, received this um, bracelet called the Techno Bracelet. And they start to henshin. Now, uh, Gojiro, he became the red one. And his uh, hero form is a red costume with um, white gloves, white boots, and uh, some kind of uh, white thing on his uh, chest with uh, circuits. The chest, you know, the chest part of the costume. Also, a red helmet with a black visor and silver mouthpiece. Now, um, oh, Takusuki Shingo, he became oh, green too. And uh, his uh, hero form is a, um, I guess, uh, a green costume with white gloves, white boots, uh, white thing on the chest area. With circuits on it, a green helmet with a black visor and a silver mouthpiece. Nambaru Ryuta became. Oh, oh wait, sorry. Now nah, uh, for uh, Shinko, he became Green Zoo. Let me Green Two. Wait, Green Two. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, my mistake. Yes. Now nah, for Shinko, he became Blue Three. Um, his hero form is a blue costume with a um, white gloves, white boots, white finger in the chest area with circuits, a uh, green helmet with a black visor, a silver mouthpiece, yes, and uh, oh, Kobisu and Mika, she became hero four, and uh, her uh, hero form is a um, a uh, yellow costume with white gloves, white boots, um, yellow, I mean, a white thing in the chest area with circuits, a yellow helmet with a black visor and a silver mouthpiece, and she is the first female yellow ranger, yellow, first female yellow ranger of the Super Sentai fr series. Yes. And then we, oh yes, as for um, Kazuraki Higaru, she became Pink Faibu. And her hero form is a pink costume with white gloves, white boots, a white thing in a chest area with circuits, a pink helmet with a black visor and silver mouthpiece. And together, those five people are Shodenchi Payoman, which means. Uh, super electric, yeah, super electric bioman. Th uh, they are also the first Super Sentai team to have two girls. Yes. Eventually, um, well, one of the uh, first uh, you know to, to fight the bioman. Well, he retreated and. Dr. Man, he uh, sent a um, a giant robot called a uh, Mega Gigan. And um, the Bio Man, they um, got inside the Bio Robot, fought um, the Mega Gigan, and they won. And that's how the. Yeah, and that's how the. Oh, no, yeah, I forgot that. 
after the battle, um, Mika she um, she quickly um, quit uh, because she wasn't interested in being a a senji. So she left, and at the next episode, the rest of the bio men were um, in search and hoping that they could convince her to fight alongside with them. Oh, I forgot to mention for the for Gia, well, um, and the supporter names of Dr. Man greet him. Well, they have these salutes, it goes like this um, for the man, like that. Now, um, back to uh, the Bioman search. Well, um, eventually, um, they uh, found. Um, oh yes, um, Mika and well, Mika said that all she wants to do is um, take um, yes, a photo of Bio like just like her late brother, and well, um, but the Bio man they are uh, well uh, wanted uh, her to hear people out, and well. She decided to um, go and hear what the people had to say about why um, all the five were chosen. And well, they arrive at a base called the Bayou Basu. And inside the Basu is this giant vehicle called you know, the Bayou Dragon. And it, the house is, holds uh, two giant jets. Called the uh, Jeto Ichigo and Jeto Nigo. Yes, and now uh, at the base, well, all five firemen met up with Bebo, and well, Bebo uh, told um, me a the story about you know why those five were chosen, and well, Bebo said that um, 500 years ago. At least 500 years, you know, uh, before 1984. So let's see, I guess that will be in the unearth. That will be, um, let's see. Let's see. Yes, 14, the year 1484. Yes, and, um, well, what happened is that there used to be this planet called Bio, and, well, it was. It broke its. Uh, yes, broke it so much into science, but in the right direction. And, um. Yes, um. And, well, because of it, it led to the planet's destruction. Now, before Bio got destroyed, well, um. Well, Stories were all about many planets in the universe, and well, the people of Bio considered that um, Earth as the most beautiful planet in the universe, and then, um, well, people along with a Bio Robo and everything else, you know, that he, he needs, well, were sent to Earth to. Um, uh, to protect the planet, so it doesn't meet the same fate as Bio. And well, Bio exploded, and people arrived on Earth in Japan during during Japan's feudal era. And uh, once people arrived, well, five uh, young people, you know, uh, three men and two women, well. They all uh, uh, approached the bio robo and the bio robo endowed them with bio particles. And they became powerful just senshis, uh, you know, warriors. And, uh, and uh, these um, five warriors or senshi, they um, turn out to be the ancestors of the Bioman in 1984. So the reason, you know, 
those five were chosen was because they were born uh, with bioparticles uh, you know, through many generations, ever since, you know, the first bio people. And eventually, Mika decided to um, join, join the team, uh, I go to Horn Free Will, and then, um, well, the five bio men started to fight another Junoido, and then another Mika King Kong appeared. And well, the bio man called on the bio dragon and it reached the um, for you revealed Yeto Ichiko and Yeto Nigo. No, Yeto Ichiko is piloted by Red One and Pinku Faigu, and Yeto Nigo is piloted by I mean, Yeto Ichiko is piloted by Red One and Pinku Faigu. And um, Yeto Nigo is piloted by Green Dew, Blue Tree, and Euro 4. And well, um, the two Jetos they um, combine, making the Bio Robo, with Yeto Ichigo being the top half and Yeto Nigo being the bottom half. And again, they defeated uh, the Mega King Gun like the last one. And yeah, so. No, um, I think it was the next episode where. Um, well. There was. Scientists found some kind of. Uh, this on the ground. And well. Um, people along with. Um, I think it was by Koshiro. Yeah, that um. Well, there was a message from an old friend of people's from the planet Bio. It was a young boy named Joy. And eventually, Joy arrived. And was surprised and so happy because um, people wasn't sure if Joy ever made it to Earth. Of course, the Bio man, you know, they questioned, you know, how Joy could be alive at all this time. Since you know it's been five hundred years since Bio has been destroyed, and well, um, Joy talked about um, he was in the animation and eventually um, arrived. Of course, the next episode is revealed that it wasn't the real Joy by Mega Negan, because well earlier um, Doctor Man found the recording and because he didn't understand um. The language of the bio people. Uh, yes, he uh, mentioned they speak Japanese. Anyway, um, I mean, uh, Joy speaking Japanese, and well, now uh, people he was acting kind of like uh, unreasonable, you know, during that entire episode. But once people, you know, finally arrived, then he learned the truth and. That it wasn't the real joy because well um he saw he found the actual test and turns out that um well joy the real joy said that um he wasn't able to escape uh by his destruction and um want to say goodbye to people and yes. And people was heartbroken because you know his friend has been dead for five hundred years. And once he um, met up with a fake joy, well, as well as the rest of Gia, but he told them that he not now is not the truth and will not forgive um, Gia for you know for what the um, for what he did to people. And you know, the team. Uh, Oh, I forgot to mention that in one of the early episodes, um, Ichiro, he uh, discovered that he can talk to animals. Yes, no, um, let's see. No, uh, I think in episode 10, well, what happened was, well, um, 
he was Mason who came up with some kind of weapon, you know, some kind of anti-bio weapon. And uh, he uh, used the, uh, well, Gia was, uh, um, it was very powerful and well, as we got the end of that episode, well, uh, Mika, she sacrificed herself and eventually uh, died, you know, saving um, everybody, you know, from the weapon's destruction. And uh, the uh, rest of the bio man, they um, gave it a funeral for her. Now, when I first saw this episode, or at least the preview for this, I was surprised. I mean, I knew that, um, well, the, uh, the first Euler 4 died, but I wasn't expecting it to be so soon because I thought it would be like in like after 27 episodes or something, but not um, after 10 episodes. Like, and see, um, yes, and uh, also, um, there is there are conflicting stories, you know, for the um, real life reason of why this why this happened. Um, one of them is that the actress who played Mika was um, difficult to work with. I mean, that was one of the stories. But anyway, um, it was the eleven. The bio men were in search of somebody to take Mika's place. And well. Um, because, uh, well, due to how long it's been since the first, and uh, since the first bio people on Earth, well, it suggests that um, to be more descendants that they, they would have, you know, scattered around anywhere. Eventually, uh, they found some information on who they could have found to replace Mika and well, um, all they got was this uh, of a woman in a name, Jabuki Ju. But there was uh, no photo of her, so, well, they, um, one of the things they found is that um, a woman named Jabuki Ju was um, arriving uh, from the airport, so, well, um, the bio men went there and, well, on the way, uh, they uh, met this woman who was carrying a bow and arrow. And, um, well, anyway, uh, she was, well, I forgot what happened in that episode, but, uh, with her, but anyway, um, I mean, in that particular scene, but then eventually, um, she saw the Bioman Henshin, and after that, after what she saw, she wanted to join, and but the Bioman rejected her because, well, um, you know, this is a serious, what they're doing is serious stuff, and um, they went out to find uh, June, and then eventually, um, well, During a battle, another battle where uh, the woman, the archer woman, she um, starts to fight the enemies alongside with the bio man, and then um, well, during the battle, uh, her passport uh, fell off, and I think it was Ichiro who found it and found the name, and it was it said Jabuki June, so it turns out that the archer woman was. The person they've been looking for all this time, and then um, the bio robo used the uh, its beam on June. It was given a uh, Digno Prezu, and became the new Year of Four. And uh, see, yeah. Also, uh, she also has her own individual weapon called the bio arrow. You see, um, the rest of the teams they have swords called. By your sordos, and um, and eventually, um, all five bio men they um 
But you know, it does. Antarctica King can't use him to buy a logo and. Yeah, let me see. Um, no, some episodes afterwards. Well, let's see. Uh, oh, yes, well. It's where revealed Dr. Man has a son. And his name is Brinsu. Yes, and um, but he has a. He was, I think he was off training, and then um, as soon as he arrived at his uh, father's headquarters, or I forgot to mention, it was called the headquarters of Gia, it's called the uh, New Grado. And it's like a castle with a tower in the middle. Yes, anyway, uh, a New Grado where, um, well, Burinsu was ready to uh, take his uh, challenge to. Uh, uh, to prove himself to his father, and so um, they went in a. Well, he went and so to fight the Bioman. Of course, then um, he started to have some questions about himself, like images about um. He um. I mean, images, but something I. Uh, about him having a mother and well he doesn't really know much because you know he was a he was a machine made by Dr. Mann and see um eventually uh, well um Brinsu he was um he, uh, because of his defection he was no longer a um uh, useful to um, the dog man and was um, disposed of. Of course, um, oh no, this means that um, Dr. Man was must have been Negan and I mean a human and well, um, the uh, and they wonder who the real the wife and real son of Dr. Man really are. And, um, let's see. Oh, yes, um, well, because of, uh, what he, um, of what happened, you know, because of the feel of the ring suit, Dr. Man, he wanted to, um, well, make him more of a, uh, machine than human by trying to rid the, um, uh, but with himself of any human emotions. In, come here. Let's see. Um, now, oh yes. Some episodes later. Ah uh, yes. Um, the big three. You know. Mason. Farah. And Monster. They decided to. Um, overthrow Dr. Man. Because. Now that they know that he was once human, well, um, well, sorry, as a human, they wanted to get rid of him because they only have, um, they want Earth to be ruled by mega minions and no real humans uh, on Earth whatsoever. And well, they all turn on. Dr. Man, and then, well, he escaped, and then, um, uh, Megaguru, uh, there is a Megaguru called, um, uh, Megaguru 1, or well, maybe it was Megaguru Ichi, but, um, he, it was, well, it's, um, well, he was the first Megaguru to be made by Dr. Man, and, then, well, he was broken to be absolutely loyal to him, no matter what, and, well, it led to um, find some. Uh, he had something broken in him, do you know, in case you know any of the other man's subjects turn on him. And well, the bio man, they um, now we might fight something to defeat the big three. And they went to this area, and it turns out to be a trap that Dr. Man held. And then, um, it revealed that Dr. Man is still alive and oh yes um 
uh, do leave the, the fireman to their fate. But eventually, um, the fireman found a way to escape. Of course, Mega Groon 1 was destroyed, and um, eventually, uh, the fireman finally died to the night of the day, and as along with the Mega King Gun. And, but at the end of that episode, Dr. Man, he uh, strapped the big tree into the um, into some kind of machines to make them forget that Dr. Man was once human. And also to make them completely loyal to him no matter what. No. Oh yes, now uh, there was there is this movie, um, a Fireman movie that takes place uh, I forgot what episodes, but uh, it takes place after and before but um in that movie uh let's see oh yes um some kids were looking for a treasure and um well Igia yeah, they were hoping it will help lead them to the bio base too. But of course it um they defeated um uh, oh yes um well Gia was against defeated and well the children went to um well they found the bio base and learn who the firemen were and also they met Bebo and oh yeah and the movie it revealed that um well this treasure that um the map was supposed to lead to and well um they had to find a golden statue. Only it turns out that uh the golden statue was real Bebo because well um the ancestors of Fireman didn't know what the robot was. Now uh back to the series well um but sometime afterwards um oh yes well the bio man ha happens to uh find uh Brinsu on TV only and they went to check you know what it's all about and well they meant that um the jump boy who looks a lot like Brinsu well um he was called um well he said his name was uh, Kuichi yes and well he said that well um well um and well, at where he works, well, um, the fireman were told, well, I think it was the manager, or, you know, Kuichi's boss, well, told him that, um, the Kuichi, uh, was, adop was adopted, um, by his parents, you know, since he was, a uh, guest left on a store step or something, and, well, he grew up to be, um, an older kid, and, you now what, when Dr. Man, Found Kuichi, remembering that I mean, realizing how much it looks like Rinsu, he wanted to uh, go and you know, see if that's his actual son. And he sent a letter to um, Rinsu to meet. Of course, the fight I mean arrived and um, told Kuichi not to trust him. And then um eventually the uh well once uh Kuichi realized who um the doctor man was actually uh, a villain, well didn't know what to do. And then suddenly uh of course uh, a message from somebody else uh arrived to Kuichi and well he was told to go to um somewhere where he can actually learn the whole truth and um and uh, him and the bio man you know join along so they could um also learn the truth with him and well there was a letter from Guigi's biological mother also the wife of Dr. Man and well on the letter it says that his real name is Shuichi and um, well the reason that uh, he was a bad uh, he was a bad was because you know it was dangerous for 
uh, for Shubichi because um, of what happened with, um, with, his, um, with his father and well they found this video recording of uh, of Shubichi's father uh, who was working as a scientist you know with uh, robotics and artificial intelligence and well because his body started failing, he decided to um, become mechanical. And of course, you know, because of what, um, what he did, uh, it also affected his mind and eventually became Dr. Mom. And so that was the origin of Dr. Mom. And then, you know, the bio man started to, you know, fight the enemies and she wish he uh, decided to um well uh, go somewhere to be safe. Yeah, well uh, hold on a moment, I'm just having a headed to, I'll be right back. <laughs> 